was a disturbing trend that we've seen over the past really few weeks. Thanks for joining us at nine. I'm Don Hasbrook. And I'm Anthony Ponce. Two days in a row, groups of Venezuelan migrants were charged with burglaries in DuPage County. Casey Cronus is live in Oak Brook tonight. Casey. Hey, Anthony and Don. In both cases, the thieves were using devices to try and trick the store's security systems. Now, officials are investigating whether the incidents are connected. In a crowded Oak Brook shopping center, prosecutors say two men from Venezuela were caught stealing $750 in clothing from Macy's. When police tried to stop them, one of the men refused, trying to get away before he was brought to the ground and handcuffed. They went in with a foil lined bag, which again is designed to defeat the theft detection system that is installed at the store. One day earlier on Black Friday, three migrants also from Venezuela who've been living in Waukegan allegedly took $500 worth of merchandise from Kohl's in Elmhurst. In that case, they were carrying a large magnet to thwart the store's anti-theft devices. All five people were arrested and charged, but DuPage County State's Attorney Robert Berlin says under the Safety Act, all but one of those offenders has been released. Judges have very limited discretion in detaining those defendants. He tells us there have already been three cases where migrants have failed to appear in court. And the difficulty in finding them uh, is a real problem. In fact, in one of the cases, uh, when the judge was issuing the warrant for the defendant's address, it said tent. Saturday wasn't the first time the Macy's here at Oak Brook Center has been hit in recent weeks. On Halloween, two Venezuelan migrants allegedly made off with more than $2,800 worth of merchandise before being caught a short time later. Reporting live in Oak Brook, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago. Casey, thank you. 